Sub YouTube, simply oh, I'm a little luckier. And so I know we've opened the Legendary Duelist uh, for the Joey pack a little earlier, but I wanted to do kind of the bigger opening for this, which is going to be three different boxes, you guys. So basically, kind of a hundred pack opening, and then also we're going to do show the Simply Unlucky collection at the end, which we haven't really done, but I want to start doing for newer openings, and because uh, it's pretty awesome, you guys. And so. Uh, yeah, and so what we're doing for the Simply Unlucky Collection, give you guys an idea, it'll be shown at the end of this video, so you guys make sure you watch all the way to the end, or at least check out the end if, after you've checked out the opening. And uh, what we're doing is collecting three of each card for um, at least the newer sets. And so for the older sets, we're thinking of doing four of each card, but we're still kind of deciding on that. But uh, yeah, three of each card, and then we're putting them in a binder and uh, collecting all those. And then hopefully we can use those for deck profiles or just kind of show you guys the collection later off. And thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, we will be using the blue sleeves for that along with sleeve covers. And then we'll be showing off the Pro binder, which is uh, four rows. And it also has the zippers, very nice binder. So uh, thank you Ultra Pro for helping out with the Simply Lucky collection. All right, you guys, so let's get started. Um, we're gonna take a, kind of our time through the first box here, the Legendary Duels Joey. And we'll show um, the HUD, you guys, the market value on the cards at the moment, or we might use the old values. It's just, we're gonna give you an idea of what's kind of good in the set. And then we're probably gonna do cards that are maybe like two, $2 and up or something like that, just so we don't have too many cards we're looking at. But yeah, so Legendary Duelist Joey. Let's get started. So first pack on the right side. We'll go through the set and then as it gets repetitive, you guys, we will uh, start going a little faster. So Sergeant Electro here. Red Eyes Fusion, nice. Oxy Get On. And starting off with a foil, Amazonas Princess. And this is the uh, one name becomes Amazonas Queen while in the field or the grave. And if it's normal or special, you can add an Amazonas spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. When it declares attack, send one other card from your hand or field to the grave, especially summon Amazonas monster in your deck in defense position, except the princess. Extremely good. <laughs> For the Amazonas deck. The only issue is she's kind of weak, uh, only being 1200 attack, 900 defense. And then some Amazonas support. You got Amazonas Magic's the call for this one. But yeah, we'll go ahead and sleeve our Ultras with our light blue. We're using the light blue for this set. You also see that in the Simply Like Collection at the end. Okay, next we have Vehicaroid Connection Zone, uh, Armoroid. Amazonas Archer, Red Eyes Fusion, and Cyber Dark Cannon. Random Cyber Dark support they decided to do with this set. And so, uh, for Simply Unlucky for sets like this, I think that we'll do kind of a bigger opening video, kind of like 100 packs or three boxes. And then for Simply Yu-Gi-Oh, if you guys want to see more Legend of Duels to open, we'll open a box here and there. Um, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Simply Yu-Gi-Oh is the second channel for Simply Unlucky. A Ferocious Dragon with a Deadly Attack. Armoroid, Cyberdark Edge, Expressroid, and Mixeroid. So we got those Roids, got the Cyberdarks, got the Amazonas, and what else we have? Joey cards, and then I think some Mako cards. Yep, Legendary Fisherman number three, Keel, Sphere Karibo, Legendary Fisherman, and Cyberdark Claw. I like how we got two Legendary Fisherman cards there. Some Mako. Mako, I think it was his name. Fisherman number three again. Leotar, some Duel Links cards. Red Eyes Retro Dragon. A Fisherman number two. This time he is super. Nice. Uh, this card's name becomes Legendary Fisherman while on the field or in the grave. While Yumi's on the while Umi is on the field, this card is unaffected by other monster effects. Pretty nice. And then if you have Legendary Ocean, of course, he becomes a four star. He also has one more effect, yeah. Um, when this card is destroyed, battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. While under its owner's control, you add a level 7 water monster from your deck to your hand. Just because. Oh yeah, there's also some water dragon, hydro get on cards in here as well. Definitely a Yugi Jade Impact. Kind of like a classic Yu-Gi-Oh! GX combo with these uh, duelist, legendary duelist sets. Bonding, hydro get on. Inferno Fire Blast, and Emergy... 
Emerge Roid Call. It's a counter trap for the emergency roids or the roid monsters. Rage of the Kiaru Shin. So our first ultra rare there. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up with our light blue sleeves. So our goal is to collect three of each of those ultra rares, so hopefully we can. Alright. Next pack, Wonder Balloons. I like how we got the Duel Links mat for the Duel Links cards. Street Rebo, Oxygen, Amazon's Archer, and C Stealth Attack. Not very many rares in the set, so you guys will start seeing a lot of additional rares here pretty quick. Uh, Ririoku, Legendary Ocean, Cyberdark Edge, Yomi Ship, and Amazonas Onslaught. I like that. The Onslaught. So pretty cool. We could use Onslaught in the title of some of our videos. The Onslaught of Epicness. Legendary Fisherman, Ririoku. Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Megaroid City. Actually interesting, it's like an intersection. I know there's a name for that for the trains. I guess maybe a train station. Okay, the ocean, the edge, Yomi. Let's see, now we're already hitting bonding uh, D2O, DHO. We're already getting mostly extra commons at this point. Them golden apples. Cyberdark Keel, Wonder Balloons, Swords of a Woman, and Claw. Okay, so we're about halfway through the right side here. Let's see if we can get maybe three Ultras on this side. Once again, once per case, sometimes you get about six Ultras in a box instead of five for the Legendary, or the Duelist Packs, Red Eyes, Sergeant Electro, and Red Eyes, Slash Dragon. Oh baby, there we go. Nice Ultra Rare card. This is the seven star ultra fusion, red eyes black and a warrior uh, monster. When a red eyes monster declares an attack, you can target a warrior monster in your grave. Equip it to this card as an equip spell with this effect. The equip monster, this, this equip monster gains 200 attack. Um, when a card or card effect is activated that targets a card you control, quick effects send an equipped to negate the activation if you do destroy that card. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, especially summon as many monsters from your grave as possible that were equipped with this card. Bam. Nice to see some cool combos there. Some wombo combos. Red Eye Slash Dragon. Okay. Two supers, two ultras so far. Water Dragon's back. Armoroid. Sphere Kariba. A super vehicle roid mobile base. Big old dude with 5,000 defense. Amazon is calm. Go ahead and just keep going. The Call of the Amazons. Another Water Dragon. Wonder Balloons. Oxygenon. Cyberdark Horn. And Cannon. Yeah, I believe there's the Cyberdark Fusion in here as well as some new Water Dragon Fusions. Gotta love the support. Bonding. Ririoku. Legendary Ocean. Megaroid City. Two packs left on the right side for this box, and then we have a couple more for this 100 pack opening. The Legendary Fisherman, Golden Apples, Yomi Ship, and the Rage of Kiarushi. So, what I like what they did with the Pegasus pack compared to the Legendary uh, for Joey Duels pack is uh, Retro Dragon, Monster Reincarnation, nice. That's kind of hard to pull, I guess. Bonding D2O is that they had the short print tune reprints, you know, just very rare cards. Uh, King, Toon Kingdom and Mimi Cat. So they, I think they should have done that for this too. Just put up a couple of short print rares, make it more interesting. Um, not sure what they would have done. Hydro Get On, Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes Retro, Cyber Dark Inferno, nice. And Amazon's Call. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, maybe they could have, I don't know, Graceful Dice and Skull Dice just as rares and one per box, I don't know. The thing about Toon Kingdom and Mimikaz is they're actually extremely good Toon cards. So I don't know if that would have really worked, but that would have been interesting. Hydro get on. Uh, Golden Apples, Leotar. And nice, an ultra rare Gear Free Red Eyes Iron Knights. So these are actually two of the most sought after cards in the set the Red Eyes Slash and the new Gear Free reprint. But uh, I think the Baby Dragon ended up holding the more value. There's a Red Eyes Baby Dragon in here. There's also an Amazonist Baby Tiger. 
So the O Baby cards are real, along with the Onslaughts. And actually, let's check out Gear Freeze effect here. Once per turn, if either player equips equip cards to this card, you can destroy those equip cards. Then you can destroy one spell or trap your opponent controls. So that's only once per turn. Uh, once per turn, you can send one equip card you control that is equipped to this card to the grave. Then target a level seven or lower Red Eyes monster in your grave. Special summon it. You could totally use this with insect, the new insect parasite card, and do some shenanigans with that. Do like an insect warrior deck. You're free, the Iron Knight. Too bad he's 1800. I know they're keeping the same attack, but if he would have been like a 2000 attack, 1400 defense instead of 1816, that would have been cool. You're free, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. Water Dragon, Spear, Amazon is Keel, Rage. Rage. Alright, Joey, show us what you got. Amazon is Village, Wonder Balloons, Vehicle Roid, Express Roid, and Mega Roid City. Always interesting checking out. Or I like how they're reprinting just classic cards, making them even better. Amazon's Village, Bonding H2O, Archer, and Claw. And then making it easier to get for some of these cards that maybe aren't the easiest, like Amazon's Village, you know. Used to be a rare, wasn't that easy to get before then. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Amazon's Archer, Yomi Ship, and Duo Terion, nice. The two Hydro Gedons. You can target a Hydro Gedon, Oxy Gedon, and, du and Duo Terion in your graveyard. Special summon it. Oh, this guy is the combination of all three. You can discard this card to add a bonding two spell from your hand. If this card's normal or special summon, target one. Or, okay, special summon it. Interesting. So it's just a way of combining the different bonding cards. It's pretty cool. I guess we don't need to sleep that one, but. Very nice to see more support for classic GX cards. Via Coroid Connection Zone, Red Eyes, Inferno Fire Blast, and Sea Stealth Attack. I really want to get some Ultimate Rare Inferno Fire Blast. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually pulled one of those from a pack before. Cyberrack Horn, Water Dragon, Inferno Fire Blast again, and Bonding uh, DHO. Sergeant Electro. Monster Reincarnation, nice. Ririoku. Red Eyes, baby! Dragon! Oh, baby! That's exactly what we were talking about. Exactly what we wanted for this box to be amazing. And here it is. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. If you do, equip this card to the graveyard from it from the grave. It gains 300 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can add a level 1 dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Deck or graveyard to your hand. Crazy card, you guys. Absolutely crazy. Very nice. Red Eyes Baby Dragon. Oh, baby. Maybe we get the Baby Tiger for the double O Baby. Always nice when you get all the babies out. Monster Reincarnation, Amazon's Village, Leo Tar, and the Bondings. So there's our third Monster Reincarnation. Fisherman, uh, Ririoki. Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. What are we gonna get here? Amazon is Village, Leotar, Swordswoman, Ikaroid, Mixeroid. Come on. Yomi Ship, Amazon is Swordswoman, Edge, and Water Dragon Cluster. Nice. For those bonding decks. Got a bond together. I think Water Dragon Cluster had a pretty crazy effect as well. Armoroid, Amazonas, Fisherman, Amazonas Call. And now we're getting down to a few packs left, you guys. Can we get the Baby Tiger for the final Ultra? Vehicle Roid. And no, Citadel Well. Still a cool, cool card to pull. I don't think we have any of these yet. Uh, this card is, if this card's in your graveyard, you contribute two water monsters to special summon it. You can only use the effect of the Citadel once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can set one C stealth attack directly from your deck. Once per turn, when an opponent activates a card or effect that targets a water monster you control, and no other cards, quick effect, negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. Boom! Citadel will. So it goes and gets C stealth attack. So that makes C stealth attack 
a little bit better. Um, sea Stealth was... When this card is activated, you can activate one Umi from your hand or graveyard. Wow. While Umi is on the field, this face-up card gains these effects. So, Legendary... Does Legendary Ocean doesn't count as Umi in the grave or hand, though. Once per turn, you can banish one water monster you control until the end phase. This card face-up cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Face-up spoiler traps. At the start of the damage step, if your water monster that is originally level 5 or higher battles an opponent's monster, destroy that opponent's monster. It's continuous, though. Okay. It's an okay card, I guess. It allows you to get out Umi, though. That's pretty nice. All right, you guys. So five ultras from that first box. So this is our first opening. We're actually going to go ahead and do two more boxes for this. You guys making it over a hundred packs. Um, oh no, we still got four packs left. Let's go for it. Six, six ultras, you guys. Can we make it happen? Severed our keel, Sphere Rebo, Amazonus onslaught. Okay, I see you. I see you. Inferno Fire Blast bonding, Express Roid, and bonding a D two O. I'm feeling another foil though. So there's six supers and five ultras. That's usually the average, but we're gonna get another foil right here right now. Hydro get on, Ririoku, and legendary fisherman number two, just like that. Mixer Roid. And Hydro get on, Red Eyes, Leotar, and the onslaught continues. Go go Yu-Gi-Oh. Seeing that dog and them like trying to fight off the dog reminds me of Ray Zero and how they had to fight all the dogs in the forest because that's what you do in animes. All right, you guys, keep it going. Um, of course, now we've seen all the commons and I think we've seen all the rares, so we will go faster through this box. Hopefully, pulling um, from three boxes, we probably are going to end up missing maybe an ultra or two, but hopefully, we can get them all. That'd be pretty cool. Is it 12? Ultras in the set. All right. I think it's 10, actually. 10 Ultras, 10, 12 Supers. All right, you guys, here we go. Let's pull some awesome cards right here, right now. See how fast we can do this. Amazon's Village, Leotar, Swordswoman, Fiacaroid, Bonding, Bonding and Bonding. Pack. Edge, Red Eyes Retro, Vehicleroid Connection, Super Vehicleroid Mobile Base, and the Rage. Got the Onslaught and the Rage and the Bondage. Okay, here we go. A Marmoroid, Archer, Red Eyes Fusion, and Red Slash Dragon. Nice. Take as many of those as we can get. And we'll take Red Eyes Gear Freeds and Baby Dragons while you're at it. Go ahead and sleeve it up. Thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, the blue sleeves we'll be using for the set and the Simply Lucky Collection. It'll all... Oh, I guess we could use red. Maybe we'll switch it up to make it red for the Simply Lucky Collection. Using blue for this video, though. All right, next time. I guess I was matching the, the set because it's all blue and there's water cards inside, but I guess it's red eyes. We should have red. Red sleeves. Yeah. Arm Amazon is Archer, Yomi Ships, Cyberdark Inferno. So we got the Onslaught, the Bondage, the Rage, the Inferno. Another very cool card. So this is the like field spell that allows you to get polymerization and stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. What supers haven't we gotten? So much of supers. Oxygeton, Ryoku, Cannon. That was pretty quick. Just a couple packs left on the right side. Nope, just kidding. There's packs out here that I said. And this pack does not want to open. Electro, Inferno Fire Blast, Monster, Reincarnation, and Mixer Roid. Tribute, one machine type, special summon a non-wind roid. I actually have not read this card. A special summon a non-wind roid monster from your deck. You can pay half your life points and banish any number of machine monsters from your graveyard, including this card, a special summon from your extra deck, a Roid Fusion Monster with the same level as the number of those banished monsters, ignoring summoning conditions, but destroyed during the end phase. Whoa! That card's insane. I like it. 
some roid shenanigans. I like it when everybody's doing some roid shenanigan. Legendary Fisherman, Keel, Sphere Rebo, and Mega Roid City. Okay, Express Roid, Hydro Get On, Red Eyes, Leotar, and Cyber Dark. Okay, Bondage, Hydro Get On, and a Cyber Darkness Dragon. Darkness. So here's the dragon. It's five Cyber Dark Effect monsters to make this guy. First special summon by fusion. If this card is special summon, you can equip one dragon or machine type monster from a grave to your from a grave to this card. This card gains attack equal to the original attack of monster equipped by this effect. When your opponent activates a card or effect, click effect, you can send an equipped card you control to the graveyard to get the activation. And if you do destroy that card. So you can't equip once per turn though. I feel like I should be able to equip once per turn. Once per turn, equip a machine or Dragon, oh well. That card is not that good. Alright, next pack. Only takes five monsters to make it. Armoroid, gold, golden apples, uh, Cyber Dark Keel, Wonder Balloons, and Rage. But I guess you can equip cards to it and then use the cards that you equip after its effects to negate effects and whatnot. Ririoku, Parasite, Parasite. Legend of cards. This card's name is always treated as Umi. So they changed the effect a little bit from the classic Legendary Ocean, or it's always been that effect, but I know that that, that text wasn't always there, but this card's name is always treated as Uni, so that's, it's in your hand, it's in your grave, that's on the field, that's in your deck. All water monsters on the field gain 200 attack defense, reduce the level of all water monsters in both players' hands and on the field by one. There you go, now we know Legendary Ocean is the best. Mixed Roid. So Sea Stealth Attack is actually very good. And uh, you can get out very quickly with your Citadel Whale, bringing out Umi from your hand or grave. Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes Black. You have a ship, Amazon, and Cyber Dark. All right. Let's turn on the gas. Oxy. Ooh, Duo Terion again. Nice. Gotta like that guy. I like the bondage support. It up. Hydro get on golden apples. He stealth attack is back. That's the uh, legendary fisherman versus the panther warrior. Some dark edge. Check fisherman three bondage. Two more packs on the right side here. And then we'll have one more box left. Express roid, mixer roid. Set up a mixer for all the ladies. Here we go. Retro Dragon, Sphere Karibo, Citadel Whale again, Ultra Rare. So now we have two Ultra Rares from the right side over here. I was going to say, where is our second Ultra Rare card? So we'll go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. That is the Tribute 2. Bring out the Super Stealth Sea of Stealth Attack. And then Special Summon it from your... This card's in your hand or graveyard. Wow, you can Special Summon from your graveyard. That's pretty good. All right. So we'll go ahead and open up the left side now. Legendary Ocean, always treated as Umi, Yomi, and Cyber Dark. So, we're hoping for Amazonas Baby Tiger, maybe right here, right now. Yes! Oh, baby, Amazonas Baby Tiger! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, this card's name becomes Amazonas Tiger while on the field or in the grave. If an Amazonas monster is normal or special summon from your field, um, while this card is in the hand of the grave, you can special summon it. You can only use this effect of Amazon's Baby once per turn. This card gains 100 attack for each Amazon's card in your graveyard. This guy's this guy great. Fantastic. Wombo combos for days. And the Onslaught continues. The Amazonas Onslaught. So we got the Baby Tiger first pack. Maybe second. Very nice. Okay. Vehicleroids, Red Eyes, Wonder Dragon, D2O. So we got the double babies though. We got the red eyes baby, we got the tiger baby. What are the old babies we're gonna get? Cyber Dark, Amazon's Princess is back. Let's make it a third place set of those now. Okay. Wonder Balloons, Oxy Get On, Express Roid, and the Onslaught. The Onslaught, the Rage, the Bondage. Let's see what we can get. The O baby. D2O. Alright, Joey. Let's 
Let's roll those dice. Golden apples, you want me to ship? Hydro get on? Claw. Let's create that luck. What's it called in Duel Links? Water Dragon Cluster. Nice. Second one of those. Joey's automatic. Just rolls heads every time. Rolls heads. Flips heads. Uh, Red Eye Slash Dragon. A play set of Slash Dragons. Two Slash Dragons in this box, you guys. That's absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Take those Slash Dragons all day, baby. Wow. Definitely becoming a Joey opening. Getting all those red eyes, ultra rares. Golden apples, cyberdarks. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Megaroid City. I want you guys to post in the comments below, by the way, um, what were some of the decks you put together with these new Amazonist or Joey cards, and how good do you think they are? Are you guys just creating an Amazonist deck with this Amazon support, or is it kind of like an Amazonist deck mixed with Beast or something? I don't know. Bonding D2. And is Red Eyes pure Red Eyes, or do you mix Red Eyes with Royd cards? Armor Royd, Sphere Crevo, Legendary Fisherman number two, that's number four. Amazonist Call, the Call, the Rage, the Haunt Slots. Yo, baby. Just a few packs left in this box, you guys. Red Eyes Fusion, Monster Reincarnation, The Onslaught. And after this, you guys, just one more box, making it a 100-pack opening. Ririoku, Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes Fang with Chain. That's actually in a very good Ultra Rare card. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So it says here, target a Red Eyes monster you control. Equip this card to it. So once again, it's an equipment, meaning that it's very good with all these cards here because they have to deal with equip effects. So, uh, equip it to it. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. That's cool. And then you can send this equipped card to the grave to target one effect monster on the field and equip that target to the monster card that this was equipped to. If you do, while a monster is equipped to it by this effect, its attack and defense become equal to the original attack and defense of that equipped monster. So that's not really what you're shooting for, the attack and defense part. It's more that you're equipping one of your opponents. I think it's effect monsters, right? Target a monster on the field, so an effect monster. So it could be your own effect monster, by the way, if you needed to do that. But yeah, you can target one of your opponent's effect monsters, equip it to your card, and then you can use the equip, the equip effect to you know do something else as well, and it gets rid of your opponent's monster. So it's just like a really fancy, fancy, fancy card there. I like it. Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Very good card. All right. Works, works very well. Synergizes with all the Red Eyes cards. Ririoku, Red Eyes, Megaroid City. And one pack left for this boost box. We did get five Ultras. Got the Amazons, babies. Got the Fang with Chain. Got a Red Eyes Slash for three of those. And a Claw. Okay, so now, you guys, we just have one booster box left. Making it a 108 pack opening. So let's see what we get here. Okay. Just like what we did with Peggy. Another legendary duelist. Become legendary, guys. I believe we're definitely becoming legendary. And remember, at the end of this opening, we're going to show the Simple and Lucky collection. So stay tuned for that as well. Show you guys the different cards in the set together in a binder. Thanks for Ultra Pro helping us out with that. And are you guys ready? Last box. Let's do this. The video is not too long for 100 packs. Going pretty quick through some of the cards. Start with the right side over here. Let's do this. First pack Leo Tar, Swords Woman, Vicaroid, Armoroid, and the Claw. We end with the Claw and we begin with the Claw. Yomi Ship, Summer of Edge, Water Dragon Cluster. I believe that is now three of those. Nice. And so usually out of three boxes, you're expecting to get two or three of each of the supers. Uh, Archer, Legendary Fishman Keel, and Sea Stealth Attack. Let's see what else we can get here. A Red Eyes Retro, Vicaroid, Summer of Corn, Bonding DHO.
We have a Spheric Rebo, Legendary Fisherman Bonding, and nice, a Red Eyes Fang with Chain. That's exactly what we wanted for another Ultra Rare. Uh, Value-wise, definitely up there, but still the Baby Dragon probably reigns on, on top. If we can pull another one of those, that would be nice as well. Fang with Chain. There we go. That's exactly the Ultra we want to get there. I can't remember the Ultras we're missing, but I believe we're missing at least two. Okay, Leotar, Armoroid, Cyber Dark, Sea Stealth. So hopefully we can get an Ultra we have not pulled yet. That'd be nice. Water Dragon, Esphere Grio, Red Eye Slash. Holy crap, we got four Red Eye Slash Dragons out of three boxes. That's pretty insane. Man, if we're going to pull that many, I kind of hope they'd be baby dragons, but still. Wow. Definitely the Red Eyes pack here, you guys. Red Eyes slash dragons for days. Okay, Water Balloons, Water Dragon, Mixer Roid. Next pack. So we're Akil, the Village, the Archer, and the Cannon. Let's see if we can get another Gear Free, too. That'd be nice. Gear Free is always a cool card to pull. Sphere Karibo, Cyber Darkness, the Darkness Dragon. Next we have Bonding H2O, Sea Stealth Attack. And we're cruising through this side. Hydra get on, Ryoku, Amazon's Princess, number four. Nice. Amazon's Princess, though, is a good card. Like I said before, if she just had more attack, she'd be phenomenal. Red Eyes Fusion, Golden Apples Bonding. Two, the Red Eyes Fang with Chain and the Slash Dragon so far on this side. Legendary Ocean, always treated, always treated as Umi. Okay, Spearcaroid, ooh, Rage, the Rage is back. If Umi is on your field, target monsters your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters you control whose original levels are five or higher. Destroy them. If you do, the zones they were in cannot be used until the end of the next turn. Quick play. Legendary Ocean, Red Eyes Retro. I feel like Red Eyes Retro is not very easy to pull. Legendary Fisherman, the Claw, and the last pack on the right side. Monster Reincarnation, ooh, baby, Red Eyes Baby Dragon, wow, the Slash, the Fangla Chain, and the Red Eyes Baby Dragon, oh baby, that's what I like to see there, call of the Red Eyes right there, go ahead and sleeve up these epic cards, nice three boxes, oh freaking baby, alright, um, so for the last two Ultras in this box, maybe, just maybe we can get three since we just pulled uh, three Ultras, the Slash, the Baby, and the Fang, um, so maybe we get a six ultra box, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. If not though, um, maybe if we could pull another gear free, that'd be pretty, pretty nice. All right. Part of the cards guide us. Dun 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 dun. Legendary Fishman. Dun 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 dun. So what are the, are these 60 card sets, right? Is this one even smaller than 60? Golden apples, one of the looms. I wish they'd make these sets just like a little bigger, maybe like 80 cards. And then make like one more ultra, and like two more supers, and make a couple short print rares. You know, like put a little bit more effort in them, just a little bit. More time in these duels packs. 60 is kind of like, man. See stealth? Red Eyes Black Dragon, a ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. And down to the wire from our 108 pack opening. Three booster boxes of the legendary duels. J -j 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 -j. Hey, you. What does Joey say? Does he have a catchphrase? It's time to duel. <laughs> Everybody says that. Uh, I got nothing. Let me know, you guys. What do you think Joey's catchphrase is in the comments below? Vehicle Roid. Super Vehicle Roid. I believe that's four of those. Mobile Base. So I believe we have play sets of all the supers now, unless we're missing maybe Inferno. Whoops. 
Amazonas, and Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Two Fang with Chains in one box. Oh, baby. That's what I like to see. Will it be a six super box or super, super ultra? Super ultra box. Wow. Can't believe we got two Fangs with Chains right at the end there. It was like, you got the power. Cyberdark, the onslaught continues. Go ahead and sleeve up our other Fang with Chain. So many ultras, so much value. Very nice. Vicaroid, the Inferno Fire Blast. Got the Inferno, the Rage, the Onslaught, the Call, the O Baby. Leo Tsar, Red Eyes Retro is back. Bringing Retro back, yeah. Yomi Ship. Cyber Dark Inferno, there we go. I was just saying, I think we need one more of those to have a place at. Okay. So is it, what is this? Is this set even smaller than Pegasus? Is it six suit, six ultras and eight supers? Sphere Karibo. You freak the Iron Knights! Dude, all Red Eyes Ultras. That's what I'm talking about. I like how the Emergency Roy is the one we pulled the least of. Well, I guess Baby Tiger too, but wow. Another gear freed right at the end there you guys So two gear freeds two babies three fang with chains four slash dragons. Oh Baby, I like that Working that red those red eyes. So can we get six ultras in a box though? That's three or that's five Two fang with chains All right, you guys let's do it right here right now water dragon ultra rare six in one box Make it happen. Amazon's Fisherman, Red Eyes Slash, Mega Roids, Dun 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 Dun, Express Roid, Yomi Ship, Mega Roid City, the city's back, two packs left. Give it to me. Kaiba! Red Eyes Fusion, The Claw, oh, The Claw. Can we get that six ultra in the final pack of Destiny? It is another Amazonas Princess. Nice. All right, you guys, that was awesome. So stay tuned uh, right after this, though, for the Simply Lucky Collection. We're gonna kind of go through the different, the binder or the sets in general, and uh, kind of show you guys what we're doing with Simply Lucky Collection as well, because I haven't really been able to do that very much, so I'm excited to do that. But before we get to that, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I cannot thank you guys enough for checking out Simply Lucky. You know, come back every day. We're doing March Madness right now, so just come back every day. See if we post a new video. I know sometimes I'm not able to post content for a week or two. But thank you guys for being patient with me. Thank you for supporting Simply Lucky, especially those epic patrons. Thank you again to Ultra Pro, and you guys will see their binder and sleeves right now uh, for the Simply Lucky collection. All right, you guys, now that we opened over 100 packs of the original Legendary Duelist set or Legendary Duelist Joey, let's get straight into the Master set. And thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro, you guys, today we are using a cool combination of a few things. So we have the Pro Mat Reds, and we're sleeving them with the sleeve covers today, you guys, to keep our sleeves uh, from getting dirty and just keep them in good condition because we plan to possibly take these out uh, to use for multiple videos later on, like a Worlds Collide or Duelist Pack Battle or a Legendary Duelist Collide type deal, where we can maybe like right now use Joey versus Pegasus type deal. So that'd be pretty fun. But yeah, so we're sleeving those up, and then we're also using the Ultra Pro Pro binder today, you guys. Very awesome binder. It has the four pockets, it's got the felt, got the zippers. It's huge, it's awesome. And uh, we're doing three of each or a play set of each card inside the master set. And so let's see where we're at after opening up that 100 pack or three box opening. All right, so first off, our first page we have, and this is a smaller set than Pegasus. I believe Pegasus was around 60. This is only 51 cards in this first Legendary Duel set. I feel like for these Legendary Duel sets, you guys, they should be doing at least like 80 cards because they're reprints of awesome cards. And I get like, you can only come up with so many ideas and Konami, I understand that, but like, man, Reprints of classic cards are awesome, especially giving them more support and making it more fun for those nostalgic duelists. I think they should make these sets like 80 cards, but that's just me. But definitely not 50. This is like too small. Um, so then aside from that, this uh, binder does fit 450 cards, you guys. So the first half will be 
legendary duelist Joey and then legendary duelist Ancient Millennium or Pegasus will be the second half of this binder. And I haven't put Pegasus in yet. And maybe we'll do a master set reveal of that as well once we do another video on Simply Unlucky. All right, you guys. So first page here, we have the uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon over here, Ferocious Dragon with a Deadly Attack. And then I like how they did this. Um, you'll see has the set, as we go through the master set, the set is very organized and it has a, uh, it goes by you know the different duelists and what cards they used. And I think that's really cool. So you have a Red Eyes Black Dragon, Red Eyes Baby Dragon, and the value of these cards have gone up and then gone down a little bit and then kind of just contained a very decent value. And that makes sense because Red Eyes Baby Dragon is pretty dang good. Along with Gear Freak, Red Eyes Knight, and Red Eyes Slash is not bad. Uh, but these are very consistent Joey cards for any Joey deck you want to use or Red Eyes deck. And so uh, I think it's really cool how these cards are retaining their value. All right, so next page. Awesome how they did that. The three, just the Red Eyes cards, boom. Next page, we have the Red Eyes Fang with Chain Ultra Rare over here at the top. And then we have uh, Retro, Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Red Eyes Fusion, and Inferno Fire Blast. Like, boom, all the Red Eyes cards just right there. Now we're getting straight into the Amazon cards. I love how they did this. And it looks so sweet doing it in rows like this. Uh, so we have Amazon as Princess, and then Amazon as Baby Tiger. And I believe we might have a few more of those chilling around in other places. Gonna, I know we've opened up a decent amount of Legendary Duelist already, so... Maybe we'll add some more to the binder later on. Um, or on Simply Yu-Gi-Oh. If you guys should definitely go check out Simply Yu-Gi-Oh if you have not already, by the way. We are posting videos on there at least every other day right now. So definitely check that out. You might see some uh, Master Set collection or SU collection on there as well. But yeah, so Amazon is Call, Amazon is Onslaught, so the Amazon is Cards. And then we have the Archer, Swordswoman, and then Village. Boom. All the Amazon cards. Done. I love it. So now going to uh, Legendary Fisherman or Mako cards. So I guess those were my cards. Uh, Mako's got Legendary Fisherman 2, the Citadel Whale over here, <laughs> crazy card for those Legendary um, Ocean decks or just Water decks. And then Rage of Kiaroshin, Sea Stealth Attack, goes with the, your Citadel Whale. The original, the OG Legendary Fisherman chilling over there. And then we have Legendary Fisherman 3. I'm surprised they didn't just put the Legendary Fishermans next to each other, 1, 2, and 3. Anyways, Legendary Ocean, and then boom, Mako cards are done. I don't know who used the Cyberdark cards, but I like how, once again, Cyberdark's next. You have the Cannon, the Claw, the Darkness, Cyber Darkness Dragon, Cyberdark Inferno, and then the Horn, the Edge. It's very awesome. And then Keel, chilling over there at the top. And then and then your Roid cards. Uh, is it S Silas? Uh, Cyrus? I forget his name. Uh, the little little boy looking dude with the, where's the yellow? Raw yellow. <laughs> Mixeroid, uh, Super Vehicle Roid Mobile Base, uh, Mega Roid City, Emerging Roid Call, one of the more lesser valued Ultra Rares in the set, Express Roid, Armor Roid, and Vehicle Roid Connection Zone. Dude, this Mixer Roid is something else, though. That's an all powerful Roid card there. Um, the next, it's the bonding card. So, Water Dragon cards. We got Water Dragon Cluster. That's really cool. Another raw yellow duelist over here. That guy's name, I'm not going to remember, but he had like an English accent, right? It was the guy that was seemed smart. Water Dragon Cluster, Duo Terion, Bonding D2O, Bonding DHO, Hydro Get On, Oxy Get On, the, the original Water Dragon. And they put Sphere Karibu here, and I, these are like, I think they just threw in some Duel Link cards at the end here, like Joey Duel Link cards. Um, but they put Bonding H2O over there at the end, and I was like, um, shouldn't Bonding H2O be like right here, and then the monsters? But hey, it's Konami. But yeah, so Bonnie H2O is at the very end of the set. But then we have Yomi Ship over here. Leotar, Sergeant Electro, Ririoku, Monster Reincarnation, Wonder Balloons, and Golden Apples. Like, for real, you guys. I think they, they put these in here for Duel Links. <laughs> these are all Duel Links cards. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess you can say they're somewhat Joey-themed. I'm not I'm trying to remember from the show. I know Ririoku was used, but I don't know who used it. And Yomi Ship, not too sure. But yeah, so if you guys know, post it in the comments below if you've seen Joey use some of these cards before. Um, but yeah, very cool. And then that's the end of the set at number 51. And you guys are wondering, well, how did it end up there? You must have messed up. It's because Red Eyes is a 0-0. Zero, zero. It's not number one. So technically 52 in the set. But yeah, you guys, beautiful. I love how this master set ends up playing out in this binder. So thank you, Ultra Pro, for that. And then, of course, going back, like I said, I don't have it in here yet, but we'll do the second half of the binder. will be hmm, Pegasus. And so we'll put in the Ancient Millennium or Duelist, Legendary Duelist Pegasus up in here. I don't know why they don't just call it Legendary Duelist Joey. Oh, I guess it's because 
Um, it has multiple types of cards in there. It's not just Pegasus. It's not just Joey. Like, it's a Joey. Joey only has, it looks like, eight cards. So, if you count those Duel Links cards in the end, I guess he has more. But yeah, so then my cards and then Mako. So that's, I guess, uh, that's understandable to do Legendary Duelist and not call it Joey Pack. Very cool, you guys. I love how Konami's doing this. Giving some support to some of the classic archetypes. And so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this epic Legendary Duelist three box opening or over 100 pack opening. And uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below, you guys, if you want to see some more of the master sets. I know lots of you guys are posting on the Kaiba that it was really awesome. So I'm trying to get some more of those out, you guys. And then I really want to do it for the classic sets. I know you guys are like, whoa, classic set, first edition box openings. Dude, master sets. <laughs> yeah, that's really what I want to do. But I want to finish the studio first. I'm still working on the studio or the command center is what I call it when I'm chilling about trying to show off. But uh <laughs> But yeah, once I finish the studio, you guys definitely want to try to get in some classic cards. And uh, But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some more Master Sets and you're enjoying it because I just need some feedback to, uh, to make sure it's something you guys want to see. And uh, something simply and lucky can only do type, type thing. So, And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And of course, once again, post in the comments below, you guys, what you think about doing the different Master Sets for the Simply and Lucky collection for newer videos and maybe some classic box openings when we get a chance. But yeah, you guys, I really want your opinion on that. So please post in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do some more Master Set videos for you guys if you guys do enjoy that. And then again, a quick shout out to those epic patrons, you guys. I know I've been messaging you guys lately. And I do want to do like a patron power video and just try to get your guys' opinion on a few different things. So thanks again to those epic patrons. You guys are freaking awesome. And if you guys want to check out Simply Unlucky's Patreon, um, it's a quick way to message me as well. You guys you have easy access to Simply Unlucky. We're working on revamping the entire Patreon's. Uh, Patreon rewards, uh, but we're not gonna be able to do that till summer you guys so be patient with me on that But yeah, just a big shout out and thank you to those epic patrons you guys All right, and simply oh lucky signing out